Connect our last outdoor PoE switch using fiber optic cable back to our industrial switch at the control room to form the ring. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today we're diving into a real world network setup challenge. One of our clients runs a large manufacturing plant with multiple production buildings and outdoor monitoring station. And they need to install IP cameras and access point across their facility. But here's the challenge. These devices require low latency and high bandwidth connectivity to handle data heavy operation. So to solve this, our clients wants a 10 gigabit backbone network across their buildings. And most importantly, a redundant network that won't go down when one link fails. So how do we build that? Let's find out. Now when connecting multiple switches, a common way is the daisy chain. So now we have 4 industrial switch and a 24 port SFP switch. All we need to do is connect one after the other in a straight line. So switch 1 goes to switch 2. First we have to plug in our SFP transceiver and use a fiber patch cord to connect switch 1 to 2. So here I'm just going ahead to plug in the SFP transceiver. So one to two. Switch two to switch three. three to four and finally switch four to switch number five so now we've formed a daisy chain but here's the problem if one switch in the middle fell let's say switch two here that means Everything after it, switch 3, 4, and 5, will lose connection. And that means cameras, access point, or even the entire buildings can suddenly be cut off. So for mission critical operation, like in a factory, that's not acceptable. So that's where ERPS Ethernet Ring Protection Switching comes in. Now instead of wiring the switches in a line, we connect them in a ring. So switch 1 goes to switch 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, and finally switch 5 back to switch 1. I already plugged in the SFP transceiver, so let's begin. So here's how our ERPS works. Under normal conditions, one link in the ring stays blocked to prevent loops, but the moment a failure happens, ERPS automatically unblocks the link and reroutes traffic the other way around the ring. And this happens in less than 50 milliseconds, fast enough that you won't even notice the failure. And in real world scenarios, ERPS is perfect for large facilities, campuses, or even smart cities. Anywhere you need always-on, high-speed communication across multiple buildings or outdoor stations. So now let's move on to the demonstration board. So here we've set up four outdoor 10G uplink PoE switch. 
and each of these switches are connected to an access point and an IP camera. And we're using the 8-port L3 Managed Outdoor PoE switch with four SFP slots. They're designed for tough environment, supporting minus 40 to 75 degrees operation with a rugged waterproof enclosure, perfect for outdoor use. And they can also deliver power over Ethernet to our camera and access point while also giving us high-speed fiber uplink for the 10G backbone. So let's begin here at our industrial switch. This is our control room and we'll connect all this switch in the ring using fiber optic cable. Now when it comes to choose fiber optic cable for long distance setup between buildings, we recommend single mode pre-made fiber optic cable because they are designed to cover hundreds of meters or even kilometers without signal loss. And the pre-made ones are super convenient because you don't need space special fiber tools or termination skills, just plug and play. Now we have four string, let's use string D here. And of course, to achieve full 10G performance, we'll need the 10G SFP plus transceiver installed in the SFP slot. Now this modules, let me see, okay, we slide it in. This module are what convert the electrical signal inside the switch into the lights that travel through the fiber. So now let's connect the fiber optic cable from our industrial switch to our first outdoor PoE switch. Remember string D, so let's plug it in. I already slide in the SFP modules. And then we are going to connect our second outdoor switch using another fiber optic cable. Slide it into the SFP transceiver. Remember, at each outdoor switch, we are using the Ethernet cable here to connect to our camera and the access point using power over Ethernet. So now our first outdoor switch is done and connected to our second one. The process are the same, so basically I already plug in all the cables to our third outdoor PoE switch and to our last outdoor PoE switch. This is the critical point. Now we are going to connect our last outdoor PoE switch using fiber optic cable back to our industrial switch at the control room to form the rain. So we used string four. Let's plug it into the SFP slot and connect the fiber optic cable back to here. So now I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable here from our network video recorder to our industrial switch and soon you can see all our cameras are alive. Now let's get to the best part. On our switches, enabling ERPS is simple because each one has a fast ring button which is right here. All we need to do is press the button on. Let's switch to on. Number one is for fast ring. So again, switch on here. And after we turn it on, they automatically form an ERPS ring. And that's it, no complicated command line. And now our network is fully redundant. So let's see it in action. Now I'm going to unplug the fiber optic cable here on our outdoor switch number three. Normally in a daisy chain setup, this would disconnect everything beyond this switch, but watch what happens. Now I'm going to wave my hand and you can see all our camera are still working fine and that's because the traffic smoothly reroutes through the other side of the ring. This is the power of ERPS, fast recovery and seamless redundancy. And it also adds an other layer of redundancy. If one link of the two fiber is damaged, the traffic can still flow through the other link. And now let's take it a step further. 
Remember, we have full strength fiber optic cable, and since our switches have multiple SFP slots, so we can actually connect another fiber between the switches. This allows us to create link aggregation. With link aggregation, the switch treats two physical links as one single logical connection, effectively doubling our bandwidth. So instead of a 10 gigabit backbone, that means now we have 20 gigabits backbone. More cameras, more access point, and more data can flow smoothly without bottlenecks. And if you want to know more about how to configure link aggregation, you can watch my last video. So instead of a simple daisy chain, now we use ERPS to create a redundant fiber ring. And with the press of a button, our client's manufacturing plant now has a robust redundant 10G backbone network. And with link aggregation, they can even scale up to 20 gigabit. And this is the kind of future-proof setup that keeps critical operation running without interruption. Now, if you are planning a large-scale deployment for IP cameras, SS point, or even smart factory application, this approach will save you from costly downtime. Now, thank you very much for joining us. Please don't forget to like, subscribe for more real-world network solution. And I'll see you in our next video.